What up, my dudes? It's Max from Papillon Effect, and I think it's about time for another beer plays. Roll the theme music. Take a sip. Mmm. Refreshing. Um, okay, I've done this one a couple times now. I spent 34 minutes and it didn't record because I, I turned on the V-Sync. Like, watch. It, it might do it now. Alright. Anyways, this is Lily, Child of Geos. It looks really pretty. It looks like a really good game. Um, it's got a fun story. Finally off the boat. Sweet, sweet land. Wow, the elusive island of Geos. Take that, Professor. Be sure to check, check out the options menu to adjust resolution, input, and difficulty settings. Yeah. Um... Okay, uh, would you like to automatically- yes, yes please. Your settings have been adjusted. Okay, so the game doesn't- it run- it doesn't run very well. I've got a really good computer, like it plays, um, Final Fantasy XV on high settings, full screen, perfectly fine. This one on high settings or even on medium, for some reason, I just can't handle it, so I don't know if it, I'm guessing it's optimization at that point. Um, oh, Papillons. Hello! <clears throat> Hello, strange being or construct in a very clever disguise. Cool, a talking fish thing! Information fish at your service. I'm here to assist you on your adventure. Thanks, information fish. I look for you around Geos. Find me again, and I'll try to be the opposite of helpful. Ugh. You don't know yet, but this is your favorite character. He's, he's pretty funny. I like them. I kind of wish like I, I, I'll have an authentic reaction, but now no, I won't. The first 30 minutes, I won't. But oh well. I'll talk to everyone the same. Just to get a feel for it. Hello! Those guys are going to be in so much trouble. Oh? They should be playing video games instead of plotting to leave Geos. Can't argue with that. That's good logic right there, man. Hey, Harvard, check this thing out. Like, it just walks up to you and you're like, Hey, check this thing out! What the heck is it? Did it just come out of the ocean? And it's like, it's almost as tall as you two. I don't know, it's not wet. Maybe it came from the sky, like it's a bird or some shit. It's so gross, Harvo. What's wrong with its wood? I think it's got wood rot. It looks so squishy. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. You puking donut? Dang it, you can't be sick today. We've got a lot of ship work to do. Oh, I get it. They're building a ship to get off the island. <laughs> Hello! Oh god, it's talking! <laughs> <coughs> you some kind of sea beast? Um, no, I'm human. I'm sorry your friend is sick. You best go topside and see the mayor. Visitors don't come here much. Okay, thanks. Sorry again. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I picked it because it looks like it's a cool adventure. It's The game's is more of a point-and-click adventure game, per se. It's got a little bit of that Zelda aspect, but a lot of it feels very... like, walk here, talk to that. At least so far. Um, I'm just looking around to make sure there's not any other pots. That's how you get the cash in this game. You break people's, break people's shit, and, like, like Link does, and you get, you get more shit back. Fuck you, Ancient Island. Also, I like kawaii girls. Yeah, she's pretty cute. Also, she's in college, so she's of age. So, you know, fellas, ladies, whoever's into it. Surfside. This guy is totally not the evil. A visitor. Hi. Oh, hey, you startled me a bit. These ruins are thought to be abandoned. Obviously fucking- like, who the fuck would take that? There's like, like, smokestacks and shit in the background? You're thought to be mistaken, Meatling. I'm the mayor of these ruins. Is there something we can help you with? Oh, um, I'm collecting flowers for a school report. This island is something of a legend. How cute. She's like, yep. Keep your nose clean and don't forget where you park. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Thank you, your own mariness. Can I ask you a few questions? No. Fuck off. <laughs> I like that guy. Alright, we gotta find someone helpful in town.
pruning. Listen, we should talk. There's a few things you should know about creatures made of sentient wood. They grow things, okay? It's not pretty and it's not polite conversation, but these little shippers, snippers, make life bearable for their owners. Alrighty. So I'm like stealing this dude's like toenail clippers, basically. That's kind of fucked up. Hey, look, a wood stove. Heh, <laughs> heh. No? Okay. Oh, Papillon. And, uh. <laughs> In case you need to drop a log, am I right? Yeah, I'm right. The butterflies keep following her. I like that. Oh, that's prophetic. <laughs> Walk into someone's house, immediately start stealing shit. Someone must have made this in some sort of woodworking class. The nails are haphazard, the edges are crooked. It's kind of embarrassing to be honest. You think people who were made of wood might be better at working with it? That's kind of fucked up. Just come into your house, make fun of your shit. What's up, my dude? Hello. Hello there. Hey, why are you in this house? Um, I'm an explorer. Okay, that makes sense. Like, yeah. Next time you break into someone's house and start stealing their shit, and they ask you, what the fuck are you doing, tell them, I'm an explorer. <coughs> you sure about explorer? You have credentials? Oh yes, I'm bona fide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay then. Hey, what, what means bona fide? That means I can walk into your house, I think. <laughs> Bell ringer, see that now. Oh hey, if you explore, you go meet Trainer. Uh, he know everything. Train explorers too. Train to live in Red Roof Hut thing out on walkways. You go explore it now. Take credentials. Hello! Okay, thanks. Um... I mean, I, I, get, I get what she's saying, cause... So, she came here to these ruins thinking that they were ruins. And it turns out there's these wood creatures here. That have like, wood toilets and shit. So, I guess she's, in theory, exploring, like, in her opinion? But I I don't think that counts. Like, if there are sentient beings living there, even if it is still a ruin, then you're just robbing the place. And she, she, she's kind of a sociopath. She just runs in, starts breaking their shit, stealing their stuff. Huh. Okay, so the the placement of the jars is set is is randomized, I guess. Because uh, oh, a fancy flute. Oh, this is a reference to Doctor Who, by the way. A highly refined fancy flute, mean meant for the fingers of serious artisans only. No clumsy man hands or can harness the elegant Ill lines of, and distinct tones of this fine instrument. If you see someone playing a flute of this grandeur, you know they're hardcore or trying to start a spaceship. Yeah, that was a reference to the second Doctor. Um, so these these pots are random it looks like cuz uh, There wasn't one there last time or there was one here last time, but now I don't remember where the other ones were But I do remember there's one across from that treasure chest, and it's not there now Yo mailbox If you cut wood in half you can tell how old a tree was that's just wrong <laughs> City Planner Commission has designated this location the future location of a ping pong room. Dope. We now we hope now that the con constructs of Surfside will see that things can't possibly be as bad as they pretend. How bad could things be if you have ping pong? Think about that. The mayor. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I like this guy more and more the more I see him. He makes sense. He tells people who show up to get the fuck out. You know he's gonna build a wall. <laughs> teeth ring. At some point, a baby spirit starts growing teeth. Uh, this terrible teak chew ring is just the thing to shut baby up. I see. <laughs> just the thing. Yeah, I like to brush the grass too. Oh, hey, fleshy stranger, I'm Mr. Broom. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, odd wood man, wooden man. 
She just insults him to his face. You're huge. Are you a wood spirit? Uh, no, this area is filled with spirits. Uh, one is brushing up against you right now. Hey. What? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Some of us residents are like me, constructs of wood and soul. We're called, uh, constructs. That makes sense. Everyone else is a spirit like the mayor. They're, all, they're our masters. You'll know a spirit by their uppity masks. They're pretty much jerks. <clears throat> huh, so I'm here to study the veggie magical properties of the area. A uh, graduate student from the Gilder Magis, Magis College. Impressive, I wish I had something for you to autograph, but I'm a walking broom, sorry. <laughs> Understandable, alright big brute, big guy. I'm going to go now. Come back and talk anytime, it's a bit lonely here for us constructs. You should meet the trainer, he's down there in that hut thing with the red roof. Okay, thanks. They seem to really want us to go do that. I still can't get over how tall you constructs are. I feel six inches tall around here. Thanks, Lily. I always thought I could be a little taller. When did she give her name? I'm always nervous I'll trip and crush you. I kid, don't be silly. Constructs trip way less than we used to. We practically never fall over. I wonder how tall she is. I'm trying to think. Because, like, from her, her demeanor, she comes off as, uh, a little bit shorter. But if she's, if she's probably just, like, I mean, 5'4", five 5'5". Five five. A little bit shorter than me. I'm 5'8". <clears throat> One of the good things. What? Hello, lady. Hello, Hello Elder Wood Spirit. Oh, ha. Why, hello, meat girl. I'm actually a construct, not a spirit. And that guy over there just told you the same fucking thing. You still haven't learned. Hey, look, a time rift is on her chest. It's nitpicky, but spirits wear masks and act like they own the place. Because they do. That makes sense. So, or they created me to cook, but some rapscallion just took my spices, so no customers for now. <clears throat> hmm. If I find some spices, I'll bring them back by. Or I'll bring them back by. Sound good? That'd be fantastic. I know they're in the area here, maybe in one of these buildings. I'm such a scatterbrain. I'll keep an eye out. Thanks so much for your time, my cabbage-carrying friend, even though she's not carrying any cabbage. Oh wait, is there cabbage? Is that that one in the front? It looks, I guess that's cabbage. It's just not really modeled well. <laughs> Let's say, honey, if you haven't met the trainer yet, you ought to hustle on over. See, everyone wants me to meet this motherfucking trainer. Hey. Okay, thanks. Yeah, there's a there's a pot up here before. I hope they're not if they're randomized, that means I might not get as much gold as I did last time. Uh, I'm close to getting I'm close to where I was. Hmm. Alright, well I figured I figured out where the spices were. If you before you talk if you don't talk what the fuck? What the gross those filthy birds! That's what I thought, she said the shit. I just, I just step in shit. Why are you throwing mail at me? Are you going to stand down and do what the mayor says? I mean, get a job. <laughs> I mean, get a job. Is she dirty? Oh no, she's not. I thought she was getting dirty. Or something. Oh hey. Cool. Hey, hey that's the spice box that Skillet was looking for. Her name's Skillet. I should swing by and talk with her after I grab it. Or just keep it for yourself and never bring it up. This is a box of spices that Skill Lady uses to make tasty soup. It's so tasty people are known to get addicted to it. Oh, so it's MSG. Seriously, it's awesome. Her soup draws people from around the world. You never know who might show up if she makes soup with these spices. I thought people thought this place was abandoned and didn't come here. But people from around the world come just because of her cooking. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. Somebody's lying, and I think it's Lily. I think she shows up and steals people's shit, and she talks mean to them. I think she's just an asshole. Or she's really dumb. She does go to a, a college about magic. And... Hey. I don't know. I have your spices, bitch. Oh my, I can open for business again. I'm all in a tizzy. I'm glad I could help, kind construct. Who could I, how could I ever thank you? Who perhaps with some tasty paleo... 
Paleo, excuse me, paleo friendly egg drop gazpacho. Um, I, that might sound good actually. Um, hey, would you look at the time? I need to run. <laughs> she doesn't like it though. Maybe later then. Good luck with your fancy schooling. Oh, hey, cool. I come in here now? Oh, dude, this guy's drunk off his fucking ass. And these guys are fucking high off their ass. Dude, this is great. Yo, yeah, what's up, my dude? This guy seems to be some sort of soup induced daze. Yeah. So, oh, that's why people come from all over. Her soup, it's her soup in, in parentheses. Soup, right, right. Yeah, my drug dealer calls it something different too. Utensils. These are not biodegradable. We apologize for not being as green as we could on the be as on the island of Geos. Unfortunately, we like hot beverages and we don't like bendy spoons. <laughs> Wooden spoons would work. These guys can be patiently waiting for their bowls to be refilled. I'll just leave them alone. Patiently waiting. More like tripping the fuck out. Hmm, I love making soup. Then why aren't you in there doing it? Soup, 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 soup. <laughs> what? Alright, enough of that shit. <clears throat> oh, cool. It's me, the Mario. Uh, yeah, okay. It's just Mario's hat. Plumbing time! Uh, what, what's that dude's name? Uh, Charles Martinet. It's me, the Charles Martinet. By order of the registrar, absolutely no honor authorized entry. Seriously. Seriously, nothing interesting that happens in here anyway. Go away. Hmm. Now I really want to go in there. <laughs> you bet your damn ass, you bet your damn skippy ass I'm gonna go in there. Okay. I'm certainly getting quite a bit of cash. Quite a bit of G's. If you know what I mean. Some of them golds. Hey look, it's my boat. Uh, I really hope this recorded properly. If it didn't, I'm gonna be annoyed. Are these- is this paint from the birds taking a shit? Hey, it's my nigga. Hello. Hello. Hey, ominous information fish thing. Hmm, you again. Anyway, welcome to Surfside. Surfside is the gateway to all of Geos, run by a charming and always accommodating man. Charming and accommodating. Seems like he was more more like angry and not very welcoming. I believe the term was he told us to get the fuck out. Just because I don't care doesn't mean I don't understand. Not sure what that means. <laughs> what the fuck? Talk to me again if you like more information on Surfside. I want to say that to somebody. Like, just cut the conversation off. Like, talk to me again if you'd like more information. And then just kind of like stare off into the distance and they'll be like, wait, what? And be like, hello! Welcome to Surfside! <laughs> hello! <clears throat> can you tell me about the big blue hut just down the path? That's Shippington's, a store where you can buy useful items such as extra speed boots, tasty magic sandwiches, cosmetic outfits, and many other great Geos brand products. The Shippington family is so rich, they're in the 1% of the 1%. It's a shame they are so nice. Yeah, I know, right? Hello. Sounds like I should spend some time- I spend some of my money there. I too have enough money to live comfortably for the rest of my life. If I died today... <laughs> he just said, bitch, I don't got money for your shit. Talk to me again if you need any more information. Right on. Okay, so, um... My alarm went off in my pocket, so I, I believe that's 20 minutes in. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.